Good afternoon, I'm Jess De Los Santos. This is One News Now. The government's Balik Probinsya Bagong Pag-asa program kicks off today. This allows people, stu people stuck in Metro Manila amid the pandemic to return to their hometown. News 5 correspondent Jenny Dongon is reporting to us live from Quezon City to give us the updates. Jenny, tell us the latest. Just the first batch of the Balik Probinsya Bagong Pagasa program consists of native beneficiaries or residents and this one in ten beneficiaries don't have to wait much longer because they're already set to go home today and one of them is 61 year old lola estelita she went to metro manila to earn some cash for her family working as a cook in a canteen and a house helper in her 15 years here in metro manila she couldn't save enough to go home to Leyte okay, since her salary is, is just enough to support her family and that's why when she heard about the balik probinsya bagong Pagasa program, she immediately applied for it. We also talked to Fernando, who's been a construction worker in the metro for 15 years. He immediately availed of the offer to be brought home. This may be a new program, but the Duterte administration gave it a fresh look in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic. All 110 people from Leyte have passed the screening process. Before they boarded the five buses, they first went through the boots of DOH, DSW, D, DOTR and NHA to ensure social media or social distancing only 20 to 25 persons were allowed per bus DSWD Yusik Aymeneri said each beneficiary was given 5,000 transportation allowance and upon arrival in Leyte, officials from DTI and DSWD will assess them in relation to the livelihood they intend to engage. They will receive 15,000 cash assistance and training. And right now, Senator Bongo is here to lead a send-off ceremony of the 110 beneficiaries. The government noted that coordination with the provincial LGU is also necessary to ensure that they are ready to receive those who will return to their provinces. Returnees will still undergo 14-day quarantine upon arrival. And meanwhile, Meanwhile, for those who want to avail of the program, you may visit the website PH Jess. All right, Jenny, you did mention that returnees will still undergo a 14-day quarantine upon arrival to their home province. Question now is, will they also have to go through another series or set of testings once they arrive? Mm -hmm. First, Jess, uh, bago sila umalis dito sa Quezon City, ay nagsagawa na ng rapid testing dito sa mga 110 na beneficiaries. So pagdating nila doon sa, sa provin probinsya ng Leyte, ay mag-undergo sila ng 40-day quarantine. And after that, mag-sasailalim uh, ulit sila doon sa testing bago sila payagan na makauwi doon sa kanilang mga tahanan, Jess. Okay, so tuloy-tuloy na ba ito? First round, you have residents of Leyte. Ano yung mga susunod na probinsya na dapat nating abangan for the coming days? Yes, Jess, ayon dito kay DSW USEC, Secret USEC, I mean, Neri, ay tuloy-tuloy na itong pagpapauwi nila dito sa mga gustong mag-avail nitong balik probinsya bagong pag-asa program. Actually, target nito within six months ay nasa one million na residents dito sa Metro Manila, yung kanilang pauwi and dun sa mga probinsya. Sampung probinsya initially yung nakausap na nila na tatanggap dito sa mga residente, particularly itong probinsya ng Leyte, probinsya ng Samar, probinsya ng Pangasinan, meron din sa Sambuanga. At meron din sa Lano del Norte, Jess. And then lastly, linawin lang natin yung 15,000 ng cash assistance and training. This is a one-time, big-time assistance na ibibigay doon sa mga residente. Yes, Jess, that's from DSWD alone. Meron ding uh, ibang tulong na matatanggap sila from other agencies Five naman. So yung nakausap lang natin is yung 15,000 na yan ay manggagaling sa DSWD expected na matatanggap or may kakausap din sila ng mga iba pang agencies upon arrival doon sa province kung saan sila dadalhin, Jess. Alright, thank you for those updates. That was Jenny Dongon reporting to us live from Quezon City. Now, here are other stories to watch out for later on the big story. Health Secretary Francisco Duque tells Senate that the Philippines is now experiencing the second wave of the COVID-19 outbreak. Total number of COVID-19 infections in the country has reached the 13,000 mark. Maynilad and Manila Water will resume their meter reading and water billing, but consumers should expect higher bills as these will include consumption since March. And Brazil is now the third country with the highest number of COVID-19 cases trailing behind the United States and Russia. 
Catch more stories on The Big Story later at 8 p.m. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.